Hey guys, Shelby Smith the Jiminy Crickets here to tell you today about a mistake that I made recently uh, so that you don't have to make it. You're welcome. For context, here in the Midwest it has been a very, very dry spring. Now my humidity is something that I don't typically dial in on the low end. I've never had to worry about it. Usually it's hot, it's humid, my barn is full enough that there's enough uh, water evaporating and or crickets emitting enough moisture that my overall humidity within my barn has not been a problem on the low side. It tends to sneak the other way and be too humid in the barn. So I never really realized how much of a problem too low of a humidity can be. Um, but I found that out recently with a batch of crickets. I'll show you what I mean and uh, I will talk about possible consequences. Like I said, stay tuned to see what too low of humidity can do. Uh, make sure you're monitoring it on your side so that you prevent from happening what happened to my poor crickets. So these crickets were ones that I purchased meant to be um, breeding stock. So when I originally got them in, they were about two weeks old. They went through their final molt when the relative humidity outside was like 16%. So you see those wings that are crumpled up on their back? That is the deformity that happens when they go through their final molt and the humidity is too low. So what's really interesting with these crickets is the females look totally mature. Their ovipositors are fully developed and the males are fully developed, but the males are completely silent. The females are exhibiting laying behaviors, so I do have that breeding tray in there, um, but I am not sure if the eggs that they are laying are fertilized. It'll take a few weeks to find out if anything hatches, but the deformed wings is a good indication that something was wrong. Thanks for watching, and for more information, please visit JiminyCrickets.com.